Hi everyone, welcome to Engineered Math. In this video, I will teach you how to add integers. So, we will consider two cases when adding integers. The first case is when the integers have like signs, that is if they are either both positive or both negative. And the second case is that when the integers have unlike signs. So, one is positive and one is negative. Okay, so let's start with the first case, addition of integers of like signs. So we will consider a simple rule. So add the absolute value of the integers and copy the same sign. Okay, so what do we mean by the word absolute value? So mathematically speaking, in a number line, the absolute value of a number is the distance of that number from the origin, which we know the origin has coordinate 0, right? So, to illustrate the concept of absolute value, let's say we have here a number line and we want to find the absolute value of a particular number. So, the particular numbers that I include in this number line are just integers since that's our topic, right? Addition of integers. But the number line can also have sets of different real numbers like rational numbers and irrational numbers. Okay? So, let's say we want to find the absolute value of 2. So, by the way, the notation for absolute value is this symbol. And we just need to put the number inside this symbol to denote that we are finding the absolute value of that number. Okay, so we have absolute value of 2. So, from my definition a while ago, absolute value of 2 is the distance of 2 from the origin. So, therefore, obviously, it is how many units from the origin, which is 0? 2, right? So, therefore, the absolute value of 2 is 2. Likewise, if I consider the absolute value of negative 3, you will ask, how many units is negative 3 from the origin or 0? Obviously, 3 units, right? So, from our illustrations here, we can say that the absolute value of any integer, either positive or negative, will always be positive since it refers to its distance from the origin, okay? So, from now on, you just consider the absolute value of any number as the number itself disregarding its sign or considering it to be always positive. Okay? Now that we know the definition of absolute value, we can now understand better the rule for addition of like signs. So, we will just add the absolute value of the integers and copy the same sign. Okay? So, let's consider some examples. So, let's say we want to add 2 plus 3. So in particular, we have positive 2 and positive 3. So in the two numbers that we have, we both have positive numbers, right? Positive 2 and positive 3. So if it's positive, no need to put the positive symbol because it's already understood that if a number has no specific sign in it, then it is positive. Likewise, it is negative because it will be denoted by the negative sign of the number. So, therefore, to find the sum of this number, obviously, it's 5, right? But if we try to apply the rules in addition of integers with like signs, we will need to get the absolute value of 2 and the absolute value of 3. So, it means that we will add the absolute value of 2 plus the absolute value of 3. So, obviously, absolute value of 2 is still 2 plus absolute value of 3 is still 3. So, 2 plus 3 is 5. And then, we will need to copy the same sign. So, since they are both positive... The final answer is also positive 5. Or we can already omit the positive symbol. Next, what if we have negative 4 plus negative 5? So following the same rule, so we just need to get the absolute value of negative 4 and then add it to the absolute value also of negative 5. So the absolute value of negative 4 is positive 4 plus the absolute value of negative 5 is positive 5. So 4 plus 5 is positive 9. But since they are both negative, the final answer should also be negative. So we will put the negative symbol on the final answer. So the answer is negative 9. Okay? For more examples, let's have positive 7 plus positive 8. So get the absolute value of positive 7 plus absolute value of positive 8. We still have 7 plus 8 equals 15. And since they are both positive, the final answer should be positive 15. Next, let's say we have negative 9 plus negative 10. So get the absolute value of negative 9 plus the absolute value of negative 10 also. So absolute value of negative 9 is 9 
plus absolute value of negative 10 is 10. So, 9 plus 10 is 19. But since they are both negative, the final answer should be negative 19. Okay? Next, let's have the next case. That is, if the integers have unlike signs. So, the rule is, subtract the integer with the smaller absolute value from the larger and copy the sign of the integer with the larger absolute value. Okay? So, let's have some examples. So, let's say we have negative 7 plus positive 9. So, obviously, they have unlike signs because one integer is negative and the other integer is positive. So, applying this rule, we will need to get the absolute value of the two. So, the absolute value of negative 7 is 7, right? And the absolute value of positive 9 is 9. So, from the rule, we will subtract the absolute value of the smaller integer from the absolute value of the larger. So, since the lower absolute value is 7, we will subtract it from the larger absolute value, which is 9. So, 9 minus 7 is 2, right? But what is the sign of the answer? So, according to the rule, we will copy the sign of the integer with the larger absolute value. So, the integer with the larger absolute value is positive 9, right? So, therefore, we will copy the sign of 9, which is positive, to the final answer. So, we will have positive 2 or simply 2. Okay? Next, what if we have negative 11 plus 8? So, we will get the absolute value again of negative 11. Obviously, it is 11. And then, the absolute value of 8, obviously, it's still 8. So, 8 is smaller than 11. So, we will subtract 11 minus 8, which is equal to 3. And then, the final answer should follow the sign of the integer with the larger absolute value. So, obviously, it is negative 11 with the larger absolute value. Its sign is negative. So, the final answer should be negative 3 also. Okay, next example would be, let's say, 5 plus negative 12. So, get the absolute value of 5. Absolute value of 5 is still 5. Absolute value of negative 12 is 12. So, obviously, 5 is smaller than 12. So, we will subtract 12 minus 5, which is equal to 7. And then, copy the sign of the number with the larger absolute value that is negative 12 so therefore the final answer should be negative 7 okay okay so i think that's it for this video addition of integers so i hope you learned something from this video and thank you for watching